Okay, let's talk about one of the fundamental things of uh, the physics of optics. Uh, I mentioned in a prior video that there's no such thing as a lens that has it all. I mean, you can't both wear something as comfortable as uh, silk undies and uh, something as heavy as a wartime BDUs. You can't have the best of both worlds. And there's no lens out there that has it. There just isn't. Um, a lot of the men's manufacturers, lens manufacturers, excuse me, uh, they try to weight everything towards uh, elimination of chromatic aberration, uh, increased corner to corner sharpness, and uh, uh, also overall sharpness. And that's what uh, most people care about. However, I actually care about something more important, and that is color saturation and uh, and uh, uh, the actual parallax of the lens so that uh, the foreground and the background in the picture don't look like they're sitting on the exact same plane. You can't add that crap in Photoshop or in uh, Lightroom. It can't be added. Now I can change the sharpness and I can change and I can easily eliminate chromatic aberration in Lightroom. I'd rather have a lens that produces chromatic aberration that I can eliminate than one that eliminates <laughs> color saturation and actually eliminates uh, out the depth in the image. Uh, but that's just me. Um, people don't know better. They're like, well, I want a sharp lens. and You know, I want the corners to be just really, really sharp. And, you know, I don't like chromatic aberration. Well, nobody likes that. But what you don't understand is no such thing as a perfect lens. It doesn't exist. Um, a lot of the older four elements and uh, five element prime lenses and six elements like I have here in the Voigtlander, of course that's not that old, but uh, ones just like it that are older. Um, they produce incredible depth, incredible color saturation. Do they have some vignetting? Yeah, they do. And you know what? I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. You know, nothing is more awesome than a lens that produces incredible color saturation and genuine depth, okay? Um, I can crop out that vignetting. Um, simplex design, lens designs like this, the wide, wide open, they have a little bit of vignetting. I don't give a damn. I'll either crop it out, or it's actually gone if you throw it on a DX camera. Um, the 40mm doesn't have uh, much vignetting at all, actually. It's the 20mm that does. Um, 20mm has got quite a lot of vignetting, but they all do. All the 20mm do, but because of the 20mm uh, Voigtlander, and how short it is, it's got a lot of vignetting. But that doesn't bother me either. Um, so people don't understand what the nature of glass is. They don't understand what ED glass does. Now, that ED glass has a level of refractive index that allows for the construction of lenses um, of special element counts and lengths and sizes that correct for corner-to-corner -corner sharpness. But what that ED glass is, it's doped. It's doped with the elements and the compounds which have higher dielectric primitivity, passage of light, meaning less blue end spectrum uh, uh, correction uh, needs to be made as far as additional elements. But what that ED glass does is it actually changes the binocular disparity and parallax of the image projected finally under the back of the sensor. And so what you end up with is images where the foreground and background are like this. And the color saturation sucks. And uh, it's like, well, the lens is really sharp. It's like, yeah, it's sharp, but the colors are washed out, and the foreground and background have been merged, like they were all steamrolled. And people that I've told about this have started to look for it, and like, oh, crap, I see it everywhere now. It's like the subliminal advertising that you didn't used to see until you stuck it underneath the magnifying glass, so you could see somebody airbrush sex and all the key spots. It's like, oh, I see it everywhere now. People are like, all these years, everybody's like, well, prime lenses produce better images than zoom lenses. It's like, what's the answer for that? Well, it's just that a prime lens produces better... That's, that's not an explanation. That's a description. I've made many videos about this already. Most people don't get it, or they're just too bored. Um, but uh, most people don't care about optics. And to a certain point, I agree. They just want to know what the hell's the best lens. And really, the answer is there is no best lens. There's a lens that's really awesome like this Voigtlander is, this tamron has got quite a few glass elements in it too, but it's absolutely incredible. It's got incredible corner-to-corner -corner sharpness, and as I've said before, Tamron is so ready to kick Sigma's ass into outer space. Uh, Sigma's in deep crap. 
Sam Tamron has stepped up their game so hard, and Sigma is in such deep crap. Uh, the next two, a year or two, are going to prove to be very difficult for Sigma. They really are. Um, but you see these, this is a defective one. On, on these are thousands of uh, microchips. They are eventually meant to be uh, cut up, okay? Silicon dioxide, same stuff glass is made out of. Guess what? These are semiconductors. Guess what glass is? It's a semiconductor! Glass is evil, mate! All these uh, glass uh, lenses that uh, people think are so sharp, and they are sharp. They got bad color saturation, they, they've got bad rendition, it's about renditional distortion, which nobody talks about. You won't read about it anywhere and you won't find it in any magazine. You will find people's like, well, prime lenses, like, you know, a low element count prime lens produces better images than, you know, like a 13 element. Well, what's the, what's the re, okay, we know that. We know that! What's the answer? What's the explanation? Well, you know, I just know it produces better images, and uh, I hate it when people do that. That is what, that's what I wrote the book on magnetism for. I was, I'm, I'm tired. My whole life I've heard descriptions and no explanation. I get descriptions from my effing child. Excuse my language. I don't need descriptions. No, idiots can give descriptions. That's hot. When I put my hand on it, it's hot. That's a description. Why is it hot? <sighs> Um, so, I'm one that's interested in answer. Someone who actually embraces wisdom and Platonic methodology as a Greek translator and as a Neoplatonic Platonist. You think I'm slightly crazy? Well, I am. In a world full of idiots that don't really care. I mean, the whole world is driven on how to get paid and how to get laid. What can I do to get paid faster? What can I do to get laid faster? You know, nobody cares about wisdom. Nobody cares to understand anything. We're all so busy running around working our ass off, laboring. Here's something that makes no sense. We labor all day to buy crap that saves us labor. So, I'm going to work hard and labor so I can make money and buy labor-saving devices. Well, isn't that a Mobius loop of stupidity? I'm going to labor so I can buy this neat thing that saves me time and labor. Because it's a labor-saving... Oh, my God. Human stupidity knows no bounds. Um, anyway. Silicon dioxide. Right here, semiconductors. Thousands of little semiconductor chips. Same stuff gloss is made out of. Oh, semiconductor. Hey, glass is a dielectric capacitor. It's a semiconductor with a certain dielectric permittivity and uh, magnetic coercivity. Uh, hmm. So, what is the permittivity of gloss? Permeability and permittivity. Permeability, permittivity. Oh, light is electromagnetic with transverse electrical and magnetic components with the z-axis radial dielectric pulse concordant in magnitude to the wavelength. That is why glass is shifted more towards the blue end of the spectrum and why multi-element lenses like this have washed out blues. Oh. Yeah, it was my uh, very poor Australian accent. Um, the point is that there's no perfect lens, okay? There are awesome lenses like this. And this lens has extremely low chromatic aberration, too, by the way. Uh, the Voigtlander f 240 millimeter, And there's some Nikkor lenses like it. However, the Nikkors aren't made anywhere near as good as this. Um, this Tamron has a lot of glass elements in it. It's incredibly sharp. It's got great corner-to-corner -corner sharpness. I love it! Um, it's not that washed out. It doesn't have too far, far too many glass elements in it. Um, you know, I love the Tamron uh, 70 to 200 2.8 with uh, 23 glass elements in it. But the images are flat. Um, but I know what it does. I mean, every this is art, okay? This it, yes, it's a science, but ultimately it's about the image. Nobody gives a damn what lens took the image. They just want to know it's a good image. It's rendered, cropped, and exposed properly, yada, 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 yada. The composition is great, so nobody cares, ultimately. But I do want, you know, images that are, have better saturation and better depth in them. And uh, simplicity is divinity. And right here, might you sit simplicity. Right? This isn't simple, but it's an awesome lens. So, no lens is perfect. Gloss is a semiconductor, silicon dioxide. 
okay? You throw too much gloss in your lens, what you've got is a bunch of low dielectric permittivity barriers to retard and corrupt and distort your light. So your foreground and your background go <clears throat> and you end up with this mess. It's like, well that's a pretty image, it's really really sharp, but for some reason the background and the foreground look like they're on the same plane. This is why prime lenses are better. Now I've told you many of the specific reasons why prime lenses are better, but in other videos talk about binocular disparity and parallax and dielectric permittivity, but most people don't give a damn about that sort of stuff. Huh, I do, but apparently nobody else does, so. Just remember that there's no perfect lens out there, okay? There just isn't. So you have to ask me, or you have to ask yourself the question, what is it that you want? What do you plan to shoot? What is your budget? And I will give you the best logical, objective answer. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two, or go tell me to jump off a cliff, whatever makes you the most happy. Thank you for watching. Ha, ha, ha.